Hello and welcome to this very special HeliGuy video where we're going to be talking about the new EU regulations which come into effect on the 1st of July 2020. In November 2019, the Civil Aviation Authority introduced the Damares system, the Drone and Model Aircraft Registration and Education Service. The Damares system is used as an education tool for those who are responsible for operating drones within the United Kingdom. It also provides a system for the online registration of any drone above 250 grams in mass. Upon registration, the operator's ID is issued and this must be attached to the aircraft in accordance with the CEA's requirements. Those individuals who are not directly responsible for an aircraft but do intend on flying them must complete the online training and assessment and obtain a flyer ID. So to kick us off with the new European regulations, the differentiation between a commercial and a non-commercial drone operation will be gone from July the 1st. This means that in the future, if you happen to be flying and obtain a great photograph or a nice piece of video that you want to then make money from, then you can do so. The introduction of the EU regulations from July the 1st will introduce three new distinct categories. These are open, specific and certified. Each category has different requirements in terms of training, but also the aircraft which can be used. So the open category is split up into three subcategories, and we're going to be talking about these subcategories in a bit more detail in a future video. So be sure to sign up to the channel, subscribe and hit that notification bell. So if you want to fly your drone in a recreational capacity, then what you can do is select one of the three categories and each of them has different requirements depending on the type of aircraft that you use and also the training requirement. The training requirements for using these subcategories ranges from the completion of the CEA's Demares education system right through to the completion of what's called the A2 Certificate of Competency. The A2 C of C course will be delivered by recognised assessment entities like HeliGuy from June onwards. There are also additional requirements for the type of aircraft which you use in each of these subcategories and these are going to be covered in a future video. Next we move on to the specific category which is more attuned to the same provisions currently afforded by the Permission for Commercial Operation. Those who are currently operating under a valid PFCO can continue to do so under the existing provisions of that permission. What this does mean however is that you'll have to keep your operations manual compliant with the regulations as they change. Upon first renewal after the regulations come into effect on the 1st of July, then your permission will change to an operational authorization. In due course, the Civil Aviation Authority will publish a set of standard scenarios and predefined risk assessments, which will form the provisions of your permissions. This is dependent on a number of factors, but far too complex to go through in this very short overview video. Lastly, the final category, which is the certified category, is really designated for those operations which fall outside of the norm. This can be things like carriage of dangerous goods and persons in an unmanned aircraft. For those individuals and organisations who haven't yet got themselves a permission for commercial operation, then from June onwards you will obtain an operational authorisation by completing the General Visual Line of Sight Certificate course. Again, this course will be offered by REEs such as HeliGuy going forward and individuals will have to complete all the critical elements of the course in order to be eligible to apply for an operational authorization. Now, this is just a provisional overview of the new regulations as they stand today. There is, however, a two-year transitional period up to the 30th of June 2022, so things will develop quite consistently over the next two years. For more information about the new categories, aircraft and training requirements, follow the link in the description below to heliguide.com. So if you've enjoyed this video, then don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell to be alerted when we release new content. And also give it a thumbs up if you've uh, found it useful. And by all means, leave us a comment below or contact us direct on 0191 296 1024. Thanks very much for watching.